Welcome to the skill mapping worksheet tutorial video. This is a 5.0 spreadsheet, so it has some resources that will help you use the spreadsheet in a better way, like the selection of the spreadsheet language, the currency, you can modify the menu colors with just one click here, and you can edit the logo, uh, swapping the logo in this button here. You just need to select a new one that it will change in the whole spreadsheet with one click. So if you want to use it to map the skills of your company, you first have to determine which areas you're going to map and which offices so you can have the skill mapping for each one. Once you have registered that, you can go to the skills. And here you're going to select some skills that will help you to understand how your company works. So as an example, you have technical skills, behavioral skills and strategic skills. So let's think of a technical skill. So, if you use Microsoft Excel, so Excel could be a technical skill. If you work in a company that has to do the maintenance of engines, you have the maintenance as a technical skill. And you have much other technical skills that will help you to understand the main skills and capabilities of your employees. Besides that, you have behavioral uh, skills that could be like teamwork, it could be like initiative, and many others. And you have strategic skills like management, you have decision making, and other skills that will help you to get to the best place possible when you are analyzing your whole company. Uh, besides the skills, you have to weigh them. If you do not know how to do that, just leave 10, 7.5, 5, 2.5 and 1. And, and that's a good measure for you to balance all the skills that you are analyzing. After that, we will have the mapping matrix, which will show you all the skills that you have registered in the last tab and all the offices that you have registered in the office tab. And you are going to determine if for a marketing analyst, the Excel skill is very important, just important, of medium importance, little important or not important at all. Once you have determined that, you'll see that all of the analysis from now on are going to be automatically generated for you. So when we go to the gap analysis, you see all the skills, all the type of skills and the gaps, which you're going to fill in with the current skill assessment that can vary from one to a hundred and the desired value of this that skill. This is a subjective value, so you have to analyze with your peers, with other employees, with people in leadership roles to understand in which moment you are and what you want to get in the future. Besides that, you're going to analyze uh, a line skill, which is basically uh, a place where you're going to choose one of the offices and you're going to see the line of importance of that skill. So we're analyzing all the skills and the line shows you for that office what's happening. So it's a good thing for you to, to understand that because you can change from one to another and see what that person, what their employee that is on that hole needs to do to get of, on a place of understanding and on a place where he can lead your company to better results. Besides that, you have the dashboard tabs, which will show you a general tab with all the registered skills, how much, how many of them were technical, behavioral or strategic, the charts, and here you have a comparison one. So you can, well, what, what's the difference between a marketing analyst and a marketing manager? And you see here in the chart. 
So, so it's a good place for you to start. For example, if you want to evaluate your company, a good kind of evaluation is uh, based on competencies one. So you have to first map your competencies to then uh, do the evaluation. And you have the GAP dashboard, which will show you the average rating of all your competencies, the desired value, uh, it's an average value as well, and you see the skill gap. You see the most important gap and the least important gap here, and you have charts for all of that. So it's a very complete spreadsheet if you want to map all the skills in your company and will help you to understand if you have to focus on technical, behavioral, or strategic skills, and in which offices, so when you map, which offices are more important or have the biggest gaps for you to go on and try to make it better in the future.